Hello and welcome back to Riverside Tech. Today we're going to review of the Seagate Personal Cloud 5TB Home Media Storage NAS. First we're going to look at the build. Here we can see it's got a modern, kind of sleek looking design that's black overall. And while the sides are a matte black finish, the top is glossy black. And while this does look great, it does collect dust and scratches very easily, and this can lead to it not looking good in the long term. Uh, which is a bit of a shame for a NAS because it tends to be sitting somewhere on a shelf or something like that, and you're not really going to want to be dusting it all that often. But with this kind of glossy matte finish, you may have to if you want it to look good. And in terms of the overall shape of the NAS, it's kind of a rectangular shape. And the problem I have with that is, while it, it kind of looks cool, it's kind of flat and, and wide, and that means it has to kind of be on a quite a wide area, instead of standing like upright and being on a, on a narrow area. And that means it kind of takes up quite a bit of space lengthwise instead of heightwise, and that means you won't be able to put things near it really. Also looking around the device, we see there's a Seagate logo on the front, which kind of looks fairly nice. And on the back, there's an Ethernet port, a USB and power port, and a USB, uh, USB slot on the side where you can plug a USB stick in, uh, which can then be seen on the network and accessed. Handy if you want to upload movies or download movies to a USB stick or something like that. Overall, the price is around £160, which is fairly reasonably priced for what you're getting, which is kind of a storage area with 5 terabytes in it, along with all the ports and stuff. So it's pricey, but also you're getting a fairly good amount of stuff for that price. So let's look at the, the usefulness and features of the NAS now. As I said before, it's a NAS, which means Network Attached Storage. And it's basically just some hard drives which are linked to your network so you can access those files from any device in the house that can access the same network. This allows you to share files with family members or save your own files on there or like back up your computer to it. And as this NAS in particular is 5 terabytes, it can hold quite a lot of stuff. And this can take, this basically just can take the pressure off you of storing stuff on USB sticks, spare hard drives or your hard drive on your computer if you want to save space and load more games onto your computer for stuff you actually need to use regularly rather than like photos or something which you may not access regularly but you still want to have stored somewhere safely. A good thing about a NAS is you can also store films on the NAS which can then be accessed on a TV or a games console or other media device which means you can actually access your films from anywhere in the house uh, which is quite good and it's better than having that film stored on a desktop computer which may be harder to access. You can also use the program Plex, which means you can use you can use your device to connect to your storage server with your films on it anywhere in the world, which is a great way of keeping your movies accessible without having you to buy the movie again if you're somewhere else in the world. And the good thing about this NAS is you can also allocate different sections of the NAS to different people in the same household with passwords to secure that data. And so therefore you can partition it off and have people have specific areas accessible for them so they can each have their own private storage areas so people can keep their data private in a way. The NAS also has an app called S Drive which you can use to change settings and adjust accounts for the NAS. Overall the NAS looks fairly cool. I don't really like the glossy black plastic because I think it gets damaged and collects dust too easily. I don't like the shape very well Although it looks nice, it kind of takes up a bit too much width space when I'd rather be have it upright and put stuff around it. The price is fairly decent for what you're getting, the 5 terabytes in a fairly nice device with useful ports. And the features it has work well, in my experience, and are useful. So if you're looking for a NAS, the Seagate Personal Cloud 5 terabyte may just be for you. I'd like to thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more Riverside Tech videos. Stay tuned. Thank you.